Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change checkout button text on your Shopify store. And I mean the text on the checkout button. And yes, you can actually change that. And it's pretty easy and simple. And for this trick, we will use any custom code or anything like that. We will actually edit a single word and that will change the checkout button text on it. I mean to any text you want, any call to action, whatever you want to use. I will even use the hit the like button. I will change it to a hit that like button and it will work just fine. And I got this video request actually like two weeks ago and I forgot to make the video. Uh, I did actually reply to the guy or girl. I'm not sure he used a different username. Uh, anyway, uh, he did ask me how he can change the checkout button text on a Shopify store. I did show him how to do that. And as always, whenever I got a question, I did answer with the proper information you need. And I do make a video on that. So anyone in the future that has the same question, he can easily uh, check out the channel or click on the video and watch it and fix the problem or do the thing that he wants to do. But for this video, I forgot to make it for like two weeks. But here I am, I'm making this video right now. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And as you can see, the video banner right here, as well as the transparent header and the video for the banner is playing actually underneath the header, which is really awesome. All the things in here you cannot do from the gym customizer. However, all the things I'm saying right now, and I will mention more, as I did them on videos on my channel and the code is always available for free including the hover effect right here for the menu and as well as the hover color for the menu as well as the text the color for the text on the drop down menu and removing the underlines from the menu in here once you hover over them it will show a line underneath it I did show a video on how to remove them actually even the card icon as well as the search icon right here I did make a lot of videos about the things that you, you cannot simply do from the gym customizer I did make videos on how to do them easily without having to install any apps or hire any expert or anything like that and I'm actually working for you if you have any video requests drop me a comment I will be happy to help you out the only thing I'm asking for is just a like please just like the banner says in here so that's the only thing I'm asking for it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys so I would really appreciate it if this video helped you out actually just drop me a like it will take you like a millisecond to click on it so come on man <laughs> anyway i'm just joking it's really optional so the ball is yours and enough talking let's just jump to it so obviously the let's just click on uh, an add to cart button in here so we can uh, add a product to the cart in here and this is the button right here we need to change so i will show you in this video how to change this checkout button text on it to any text you want so i will keep this page right here open then we will do the trick and we will come back in here, reload the page and the text on the bottom should change to wherever I'm going to change it to. So obviously the next thing you're going to do or the first thing you're going to do is access the Shopify dashboard and make sure to access online store from the left menu. Then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code right here. After that, it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing you're going to do is access the uh, locals folder right here at the bottom of the page and you should see it as the last one simply click on it and you will see a lot of json files so now make sure to access uh, the, the file for your language and if you notice as you can see in da it stands for language i'm not sure which one anyway the, this one stands for uh, Deutschland, as you can see this one i'm not sure which language again this one is spanish i think so obviously i'm using english so the one i'm going to access or if you are using english on your shopify store as well use the or access the n.default.json this one right here simply click on it and it will show you a lot of text in here and inside this file right here you can change the checkout button text to any text you want and obviously the next thing you're going to do is find the checkout or if you are windows click on Control f if you are on mac like me i'm going to click on command f and it will show me this prompt right here and simply type in here check out and hit enter it will highlight the code i'm not sure why it doesn't google chrome always does this to me i'm not sure why uh, let me close this i'm getting frustrated again let me find it for you here it is there is a found it it says check out in here uh, simply use the trick i did show you and to find it simply use the trick i did show you and type in check out and it will highlight it on the code for you in my case uh, i'm not sure why it didn't but anyway uh, in my case it's uh, a line 226 and it says here check out as you can see 
So make sure to change the one in red and the one in between the quotation marks. As you can see, this one right here, the text in your in between the quotation marks and in red is the one you should change. So mine in here says check out. Let me change it to anything I want. So let me change it to hit that like button because I want you actually to hit that like button. Uh, let me even add please. It's too much, I think. Let me remove, please. It's too long. Let's just keep, just uh, hit, hit that like. Okay, hit that like. So uh, I did change the checkout to hit that like. I'm going to save the changes right now and I will get back to the Shopify, the cart page and I will reload the page and we will see if the checkout button will change to hit that like. And I'm sure it would. So let's just access the Shopify store in here and let's just reload the page and this one will, should change. So let's just reload the page and check out what it says now. Hit that like, as you can see. So obviously this is working just fine. And change that text to anything you want and it will be changed in here, just like you see right now. So make sure to hit that like button. That's how you change the checkout button text to anything you want on your Shopify store. And as I said, if it didn't work for you, if you need any help, so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.